Pop up, pop up, pop up, persuadable. What's going on, everybody? So, we're gonna show you uh, the safest and the most dangerous ciphers. I'm going to run around as the clown at first, and then I'm gonna show you some actual gameplay of me kiting. So, these are the rooms. This is near the small hut. This is to the right of the small hut, right? So, that's the small hut. You see that? All right. Um, this area, very safe. Like, very safe well, not necessarily talking about the pouch right here but this cipher right here is also safe so let me backtrack already because i'm only doing this on one thing so this right here is pretty good you can uh, really just kite around these uh pallets and whatnot you don't want to stay here for too many um rotations maybe maybe two the most and then you can uh, work your way either way but that cipher right there very safe you have the ruins to kite there's usually another cipher over here as well that's safe that's to the left now this hut is controversial right this is where a lot of hunters like to run to. So you just have to really practice kiting from this area. Uh, you can either uh, work your way to the pallet or jump out the window and work your way over here. It really depends. It really depends on which way the hunter is, is coming from. Hopefully I have some gameplay to show you that as well. All right, so this is where we're starting to get to the more dangerous parts of the map. Uh, this cypher, you really have those pallets right there. If it's early game, late game, a charging clown is a bad idea. And then you have these right here as well. Um, that's really your only two options for that area. You see how it's starting to get a little bit more dangerous. This cipher machine here, you don't really see it, but it's there, I promise you. Uh, it's the most dangerous cipher in the entire map. You pretty much want to avoid it at all costs if you can. Um, unless you're a thief versus a geisha and you really have mastered the moonwalking. This area uh, it can be a little challenging. Um, at least you have some pallets to work with with tight kiting but you, you you can really run out of options you can either run towards those pallets or run to the pallets over here a nice exit strategy is to to try to get over here from over there <laughs> that makes any sense all right so there's a cypher machine over here pretty dangerous uh you got to remember right we got to be careful because sometimes you have a charging clown that gets that first hit on you and you don't want to give a charging clown the first hit on you if they have blink you're as good as dead all right, this area is not too, too bad. You have those pallets right there where you can walk inside and you can also work your way over there where that lawyer is running, um, although I prefer a different route, but whatever. And then you also have this gate over here. You can work your way into the mansion. So I want to actually show you guys some gameplay of me kiting in each area, show you on Sacred Hospital where the uh, easy machines are and the tough machines. So obviously we all know or should know in the hospital, safest spot. Hands down the safest spot, you have these pallets, you can drop down on the floor. You you can pretty much waste a, a, a clown or a geisha's uh, entire gameplay early game. In fact, uh, true story, most uh, veteran hunters don't even come here early game. So if you're inside here, you're safe. Now, um, let's see where we're going to go with the next cypher. Um, I have a hunter coming after me, so remember, this is a more dangerous, in my opinion, cipher. Because after you use these pallets in this area over here, you don't really have much to work with. Um, so this is how I would kite over here. You can either work your way back over to the small hut, use your pallet, right? So you jump on the pallet like that, you get a boost, and then you can either go through the window for another boost, or you can work your way towards the uh, ruin. So you really have a few options here. Um, of course, you, it had, it's a little bit more challenging going against a clown with his, his dash. Um, but like I said, you can work your way over here. Um, this is me looking behind me and really, you know, using this area to your advantage. It really depends on who you're facing, guys. It, it depends if you're facing a clown, if you're facing a geisha. It depends on how much distance you have. If I didn't have a lot of distance there, I would have kept circling around that gate. But I have a lot of distance. I, now, I could have uh, gone up the stairs. Go up the stairs if you have time. It's a safer route. But I'm, sh I'm just over here to show you guys. This is a real kiting match, believe it or not, too. Um, showing you why these ruins are safe. So, we've actually already gone through four ciphers. We went through the first one that's near the mansion. We went through the little hut. And then there's actually two cipher machines in here. I actually messed up right there. I totally screwed up. I lost track of time. Or rather, I lost track of him because I was too busy recording. Um, but regardless of that, inside here, you can loop for a very long time. Another cool fact is that veteran hunters will only spend a little bit of time in here. Um, if they see you, they may they may try to get you, but they know that if yeah, my audio just died. Sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, so uh, they won't usually hunters won't waste a lot of time over there. Um, so this part of the map I consider a strong part. However, let me make this clear. This area right here that you're seeing that I'm in. Um, 
this this area is where a lot of hunters will go to early map so you really need to master the exit strategy from this cipher and that is either going through the window or going through uh, going through the uh, pallet that's behind me right so i'm gonna just wait here right so i'm gonna be a little bit more ballsy with this i'm not just gonna run away i'm gonna show you some options so we'll throw this pallet down so i see that he's circling back right so i'm not gonna jump out the window yet i'm gonna see where he's coming from he's just kind of standing there right now and he's going to move and i actually lose sight of him i have no idea where he is and i realize he i think he went through the front door so i'm gonna have to use the cipher here we'll just wait still don't see him see now he actually flanked me i wasn't paying attention i made him hit the cipher machine so this is your exit strategy over here the god this is actually some pretty bad kiting on my part uh against the clown you don't have to really worry about that so once again i have a lot of distance between him and me so i can just run right inside here if i didn't have a lot of distance i would have kept staying by the uh i would have kept staying by the gate over there so this area it's just really to highlight some some basic chitin strategy some things you can do these ruins are are one of your greatest friends and i'm going to show you a lot of chitin videos of me really utilizing this area and just wasting time and wasting time and i know that i can put some distance between me and him so i'm going to run over here and show you what i do over here hopefully he follows now i'm now choosing my movement based on the hunter's movement right so now i'm going to work my way back to the ruins right i could have worked that way the way that i was just looking and loop around those uh, pallets a few times but this is just to show you this side of the map i know i have a lot of gameplay but i'm showing you how to use these walls to your advantage i don't have that pallet right there so i'm going to go through the window um and and really show you that this side of the map is relatively uh, strong this this part right here that i'm in is a little tricky uh, especially late game against a clown you'll probably die if you stay too much uh if you spend too much time here uh see how that wall's not that long so you got to be careful it's really easy for him to uh to kind of juke you so I, i'm really just kinda, <laughs> i'm kind of kiting um showing you the different parts of the map because sometimes the hunters ignore me so i want to use this to my advantage right now and just show you that i consider this a strong part of the map you have a lot of windows you have pallets that you can use um so you really shouldn't be dying here um obviously y your tactics gonna change with a clown that has uh, confined space or a clown that may have blink but for the most part um these are uh this is more of a strong part of the map now uh, i'm, I'm going to show you this part right here this little wall uh early game this is a really tight area pretty cool um if they you have to be careful about the joke or a confined area or confined space the geisha what you want to do is you want to hug that railing that i was just that it's hard for her to teleport in and um at that area as well it's really it's it's relatively well for early game um, like I said, you got to be careful of the blink, and it's a good transition between the sacred hospital and to the area behind it. So you can use that wall when you need to, and if you time it correctly, you can wait for your knee-jerk reflex, where you can uh, hop the window when you have the boost again and go right into the hospital, or you can go uh, behind it. So that that area you can play with. I'm just trying to show you guys. All of the areas that you can play with and how you can play with it and how you would change that relative to whatever hunter you're playing against so now like i said again this is a part of more of the dangerous part of the map like i said um you really only have these two pallets you have the pallet over to the left as well that could work your way towards the small hut and i'm going to show you i think what i do wrong here all right, so I'm waiting for him to make his move. He hasn't tore down any of these pallets yet, so I can use that to my advantage. Um, see, now watch this. When I run out here, there's nothing. So I'm actually showing you guys me screwing up on purpose. So you can see that there's really not too much that you can work with over here out in this open. This is why it's a very dangerous area. So don't run that route. Don't ever run that route with what I just did, right? Because that was me, me showing you what not to do. And uh, I just died as a result. Maybe we should cue some sort of some sort of song as I drift away to the other world <laughs> or the manor. <laughs> so again, uh, we're at that same side of the map. Um, you have the small hut right over there. All right, this is still Sacred Hospital, obviously. <laughs> and 
this this is still just a safe so this cipher machine and the cipher machine over here you have a lot that you can work with um some hunters will try to come after you early game here like i said to you guys earlier um but they won't always waste too too much time um so you see how i'm kind of looping i think oh, the biggest mistake is that a lot of people try to put as much distance as they can between them and the hunter and that's not always good sometimes it's good to wait around like i just did so right here i'm actually going to run towards him so he goes after me this is a strategy so, so if you guys were paying attention my other thief was injured and i'm not so if he comes after me i'm okay with that so i'm going to show you this area now this area is relatively a strong area but it doesn't last long this area is only good so long as you have these two pallets and you need to really make sure that if you're facing the clown you have to be very careful about his ability to um, get to you with, with, with his dash and you got to be careful about the geisha too so if you feel like uh, you uncomfortable over there you can move to this area as well and use these pallets to your advantage um, typically when you run past the pallet you want to hug the wall like i'm doing um so if they do swing they're not going to be able to, to to hit you so remember i'm throwing that pallet down to put more distance between him and i um that's why i decided to throw it down and then we're going to circle back over here so that cipher that I just showed you um, over here, the other cipher that's over here, the small hut, and the area where I just told you that is strong. Um, those are all relatively safe areas, especially early game. You have a lot to work with. You have a lot of pallets. It's a relatively strong area, um, and, and you should feel you. You got to get used to the small hut. You really have to get used to the small hut and the exit strategies from the small hut. And yeah, so like I said, uh, one of the biggest mistakes that I see some people do is um, they spend a lot of time. So so you have safe ciphers, uh, you have safe ciphers and unsafe ciphers, and a lot of people are finally learning that early game is the most important part of the game, right? And you really need to do a good job at making sure you're in a good position, right? That was me being dumb and just running right at him. I don't know why I did that. Um, and you can use these pallets here as well. Um, before I finish that other thought, you can you can kind of loop around these pallets a little bit. Use the use this to your advantage. This was uh, very dumb of me actually. I don't really like this tactic too too much. Um, but yeah, so I'm just showing you how to use different parts of the map. So anyway, so a lot of people are learning right the importance of early game. But the but the problem is is that if you spend early game repositioning yourself the entire game then you're not decoding, right? So you need to feel comfortable with the, closest, uh, with the closest cipher machine next to you and have confidence in your ability to still be able to kite in that area. Um, you see how the hunter is not following me in this, in this mansion? That's why, because it's too, it's too OP for survivors. So I'm not going to have too much footage within that, within that mansion. So I'm going to keep showing gameplay. It's very important that you guys get down the strong areas and the weak areas of the map because and high tier players do this too. They're so afraid that they only want to be in the sacred hospital and then they spend the whole match trying to relocate rather than decode in the machine closest to them, even when it's in a relatively strong area. So you guys have to build your confidence. Now, this is considered, in my opinion, more of a weak area. So we're outside of the hut, right? And this area is only good until these pallets are destroyed. Once these pallets are destroyed, this area is garbage. And the problem with that, <laughs> the problem with that is when you come here late game, all right, because you're trying to get away from the hunter and you haven't been here and somebody else already used these pallets, uh, it sucks because it's a, it's a relatively easy kill for, for the hunter. Uh, I believe I already showed footage of me going to the left over here out in the open and watching me die from the ripper. So this area um, is not a good area to start the game off in my humble opinion. Especially if the clown has a propeller or if the geisha has teleport. Because they'll easily get that first hit on you. And so I'm going to show you, now I'm just kind of being dumb, but I, I, I want to show you how I would kite this guy um, early game over here. He's probably going to get a hit on me. Yeah, he got a hit on me. But now I can use these pallets to my advantage. And then from here, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to get to the uh, hut, and I'm going to show you an exit strategy from the hut. Um, and that's, that's really important. So you guys are really learning kind of how to use each part of the map to your advantage. Typically, hunters always go to the hut. Um, I like to throw this down to get a little bit of a boost. 
Um, so here would be an exit strategy. This is just one of two exit strategies. You can hop this window, you get the boost, and you can work your way over here. Now, you got to be careful of the geisha and a charge, and you need to be careful of the clown and his propeller. Sometimes I'll run into the sacred hospital mansion, and sometimes I'll continue kiting around this. Right, because I know that, like, if I'm facing a clown in the beginning of the match, and I know he doesn't have his propeller or rocket dash, I'll use this area. And and this is why a lot of this is why only clown and geisha are top tier hunters, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, so then I could just easily get away if I if I really wanted to. And you have to get this sort of stuff down. So this cipher here, again, I'm going to show you, is I mean, you have a little bit of wiggle room early game, but it's still it's still a dangerous cipher. If 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 a uh, top tier uh, geisha with teleport comes after you. She'll probably get that first hit. Okay, so we've already seen that cipher in the small hut, right? And we've already talked about this cipher here in great detail. This cipher is pretty dangerous early game. Um, I even I typically don't like to be there against a, a top tier hunter. Now the other two ciphers uh, in the relatively danger zone, like I showed before, is the one to the left that's not there right now, and then this one. Now this one gets a little complex because. <laughs> Even though you have these three pallets, I'll definitely still consider this relatively uh, dangerous. Um, and the reason being so is that although you have these three pallets to play with, once those pallets are done for, you, you kind of have a long distance to run. You can either run the way that I was just looking or you can run that way. So that you really only have two exit strategies here. You can tight kite around these pallets, but typically this is considered the danger zone as well. So although this has a little bit more wiggle room than, than the other two ciphers, in my opinion, uh, the other cipher, the other first cipher that, we're, that I was just looking at, you at least have the ability, if you maneuver correctly, to either get into the sacred hospital if you're lucky, or you can work your way to the small hut with the pallets, right? Still dangerous. This area, you only really got these three pallets. And sure, you can tight kite in these three areas, and you guys can check that YouTube video on how to tight kite, but there's still really no exit strategy, right? Because you don't want to get hit once. If you face against a top hunter like DS, he typically likes to run clown with blink. So if he gets an early hit on you, you're dead, because he'll just use blink. He's really good with blink. He doesn't fail with blink, and it's a guaranteed two hit. You're dead at that point. So that's why we say against top hunters, you cannot allow one mistake. One mistake is a death. So this cypher machine as well is really dangerous as well. Now remember, when we talk about um, cypher machines, some of you might be like, well, how is a hell ember dangerous? Or you have to remember that we have to consider these cypher machines based on the worst possible circumstance. The worst possi possible circumstance is a, is a uh, clown with a, a charged up propeller charge, right? So that he goes faster and he gets that first hit on you because he comes flying, especially people who use emulators which I, I cannot stand emulator users, but whatever. They have ridiculous control. And you don't really have too much over here on this cipher. So this cipher is also considered relatively dangerous. You gotta be careful as well with a geisha um, if she teleports on here, because you, you, you only have that right there. You only have that right there that I'm showing you at, and it, it, it's pretty big of a distance. And you also have right in front of me where I'm looking at. Remember I showed you guys that gate? I showed you that gate and how to kite that earlier in the video. That Those are really your only two exit strategies from this spot. And it's still considered a dangerous area. You don't, you don't really have too, too much. Um, you can run this way. This is one way that you could run, but then you don't really have an exit strategy. Remember, you can kite in every area theoretically. Um, but you don't want to give up a hit. And the problem is, is that in those areas, you can only kite for so long until you run out of resources and very good high competitive hunters will kill you. So that's considered a dangerous cipher as well. This cipher, I don't consider dangerous. I think I heard some hunters try to say it was. This is definitely not that dangerous. Uh, you have the gate over there that you can easily get to. You have two pallets right next to you. And then you can easily work your way straight where i'm looking at right now into the next area where there's another three or four pallets and then right next to that is another three pallets so this actually is an easy transfer from here all the way to the ruins near the small hut if you kite it correctly and if you and if for some reason you can't get over that way you still have the gate over here it's not as ideal but if you use it correctly you may have the potential of getting in the sacred hospital even if you get hit one time you'll still be in the sacred hospital you're in the safest spot of the entire map so it's not the worst case scenario unfortunately i don't think i really have any chitin uh material on that area i actually i should i don't know if i do 
anyways uh, I, I I'm really just trying to spend as much time as I can showing each part of the map uh, as in-depth as I possibly can uh, to show you how I would kite in the area your exit strategies and whether the cipher is relatively safe and whether it's relatively not safe and um, and that's really the only way that we're going to learn so remember this gate you can use you got to be careful of the foggy blade that's what he just used on me right there this is one of the exit strategies i was telling you about when you have that that boost you can get in the hospital now if i was still kiting i would have went up the stairs i wouldn't have just ran straight like that right uh, i would have went up the stairs so now this is going to be a relatively easy spot uh, just getting right to the to the final exit gate so again, this part of the map that I'm at is relatively strong. You definitely need to work on your exit strategies with the uh, small hut that's extremely important. The ruins that I just passed are really good for kiting as well. Um, the, the bad areas are really um, where I'm kind of looking at right now over to that side of the map. There's usually about four ciphers and a lot of people like to avoid them early game, but you got to remember that if you avoid them early game, then it's very easy for the hunter, once they're charged up, to really defend those easier ciphers on his end, or rather the more difficult ciphers. So it's this balance between, do I risk it in early game and go and try to decode that machine um, and put myself in harm's way, or do I go to a safer area? But if I go to the safer area, it's gonna take time for me to relocate. And if we're all avoiding the, the nasty areas, then at the end of the map, at the end of the game, we're gonna have two or three ciphers that are right next to each other. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a full recap, a really condensed version. I'm gonna put this in the description. So if you don't wanna watch a long video, I know everybody has ADHD these days, including myself, it's totally cool. Don't worry, no judgment. Uh, you can at least see the watered down condensed version. And I'm gonna show you the exit strategies of everything. So what we're gonna first do is we're gonna relocate so I can organize this a little bit. But remember, the reason why I'm showing you guys this is so you know which part of the map is strong, which part of the map is weak, so you know the difference between relocating in the beginning of the map versus not relocating and decoding right away. If everybody were to relocate, nobody decodes. Okay, so this hut a lot of hunters go to, okay? Don't do what this dude is doing, right? This is just a bot, he's just running out there. That's dumb, okay, very dumb. Your exit strategy is if I come, uh, you can either use the pallet and run towards the ruins, right? If I come from the door or if I come from the pallet, you can jump out this window and you can run over here. Now from here, you have really three different strategies. If you have enough distance, you can just run into the sacred hospital. I'll do that sometimes. If you don't have a lot of distance, then you can kite around this area right here and loop around for one or two times. Um, it's pretty effective actually and then you can work your way over to these pallets and keep kiting over here remember this is early game strategy don't do this late game against a clown he's got the charge you got to get in the hospital but we're talking early game all right so here this cipher is really not that safe early game you have uh, really only two exit strategies you have these pallets right and once these pallets are done you're screwed right get the hell out of this area when the pallets are gone if you run straight like over there what i just showed you'll be dead right so really your only strategy is to try to throw this pallet down and work your way back into here and from here again you can either go through from the pallet in the back door and loop to the ruins or you can use this door and hook uh hook over into the area that i just showed you um i guess you could try to work your way towards the gate some people do do that this gate right here uh, some people will effectively do that and if you hit somebody once then they can just easily run into the hospital and then they're safe um, so that is also an exit strategy but it's still considered a dangerous cipher uh, early game especially with a charging clown or a teleporting geisha uh, you just got to be careful now there's a cipher machine that's usually right here sorry i just took a sip of coffee <laughs> this is the most dangerous cipher in the entire game it's a horrible cipher uh, you don't have anything. You have like one little tiny window and you still got to be careful about that, especially with uh, clown users who use emulators who are super annoying because they need a competitive advantage because they don't know how to play in their phone. All right, anyway, this is a little bias right there. That's the most dangerous cipher, right? So this zone really is one of the most dangerous areas of the entire map, all right? So anyways, this right here, this cipher, it's still dangerous early game. You do have these three pallets that you can work with. Um, some people try to jump through that window and get an advantage and run back towards another area. I don't always do that though, but it is something to play with. Remember, you guys have to refine your own technique and each exit strategy is going to be different. But typically speaking, you use the pallets, you tight kite, and then you can, so you tight kite using these pallets right here as long as you can. And then you make your way over here. You can use these pallets and then you can work your way up a little bit more north to another set of pallets. 
Um, this cipher machine right here, very dangerous as well. You don't really have too much that you can work with. Uh, you have that right there, which really doesn't give you an advantage because if you get hit, then really your only exit strategy is to the ruins and you got to keep kiting over there. And you got to be careful, once again, about clown users with emulators and whatnot. They can easily get you. So you do have that exit strategy or you can work your way over to this gate right here. I call it a gate. It's a fence. And uh, you can kite around here. I showed some footage on how to do that as well. Remember that sometimes it's better to take a hit close to the hospital knowing that you can get away. But you got to be careful about that because you don't want to be killed. So typically you want to kite as long as you can. And this area is relatively good, as well, uh, relatively good, right? So we just went through about four ciphers that I consider relatively dangerous. Now this area is not bad at all. You can either kite using these and keep looping right we don't want to throw these pallets down too early and if you loop from that other pallet you can go to the gate and then if somebody comes from here so say if he, he's coming from here and he hits down that you can work your way this way uh not not this way sorry work right over here and you can climb the window and work your way over here now i consider this a, a relatively strong area as well uh, some people may disagree. I think it's harder to kite a geisha over here than what it is against a clown. But remember, this is early game, guys, right? So you want to use this area until these two pallets or one pallet is down. Once they take down one of these pallets, you need to relocate. And you have two options. You can either work your way back to the window, but you got to be careful because if you use the pallets over there already, you don't, you don't have any pallets, right? So you got to be careful. Or you can work your way to these pallets, right? You just keep going from pa from, from pallet to pallet. And you have this pallet and this pallet, and you can kind of, you got to be careful. He can come from here. That's not a closed area, so be careful. I once thought somebody was wall glitching, and they weren't. It was just because I was being dumb. And then you can work your way over to these ruins. There's usually two ciphers at these ruins. It doesn't mean two at the same time. It means either one or two. And this is the safest area, one of the safest areas of the map. So really, this side of the map is very safe, and the mansion is very safe. It's the other side of the map where it gets a little bit tricky. Remember that this video is covering against a charging clown or a geisha. Worst circumstances. And yeah, so it's based on the worst circumstances, right? Against a, a teleport and geisha or against a clown that has his charge and he gets that one hit on you and then you don't know if they have blink. I like, hope you guys appreciated the video. This video took me way too long to make, way too long to get all the footage. And I know it's very long, but everybody always asks me to make this. And finally, this is the first of the series. And I know that it's a little scattered, but just deal with it for now. Hopefully, I was able to cover every cipher. And make sure you guys uh, comment. If you have any questions, I'll try to get to them. Thank you, guys.